I want to get to an idea that is covered by the word alienation. Now, alienation in the sense of being separate from something, alienated from it. Marx has a wonderful discussion in his Das Kapital about all this, and I can summarize it. It's a dense summary. I apologize for that. But I can summarize it as follows. Something happens to a human being when you pour your brains, your muscles into producing something. You're a worker. You make a beautiful object. You make a service that really helps people, whatever it is. And then something happens at the end of the day. It's five o'clock. You're done for the day. And then something happens which you may not think is important, but Marx says it's crucial. Because of the relationship between the employer and the employee, that boss-worker relationship that is full of struggle, the capitalist takes from you what you produced and tells you, go home. You're done here. Go home, eat something, sleep, and come back tomorrow, do it all again. But what you've produced is taken from you. It's alienated from you. And someone else who didn't work with you to produce it will decide what happens to it, where it goes, to whom it goes, for what purpose it is used. That's none of your affair. There, the employer is going to take it, sell it, make money off of it, and you're not involved. This is for the adult something like the little lesson learned by the three-year-old in the sandbox when another child comes over and snatches your doll or your truck and takes it away, and you discover loss, and you're going to have to come to terms with it, maybe bursting out crying, maybe needing to be comforted by the adults in your life, and so on. But when you're an adult, no one comforts you. It's the way the system works. And you become disconnected from your own product, from something you've poured yourself into. And that is painful. And that is psychologically stressful. And it's one of the ways that the capitalist system, Marx argues, affects your psychology through this struggle. Why aren't the workers, Marx asks, in charge of the disposition of what they have made? That's part of what work ought to be. That's part of what a human being needs to complete the work he or she has done, to be part of the decision of how to use it, how to make the community stronger by virtue of what you have added to it through your labor. And breaking that down, making a small, unaccountable minority, the dictators inside the uh, enterprise, the employer, have them take your output, take your work, and do whatever they want with it, is a loss to you. And that loss ramifies inside your personality. And Marx says all that in poetic language.